Tommy Maris. I'm the drummer for West of House. We just put out this really sweet CD, Crescendo of Silence. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. I played the drums on eight of these tracks. There's ten songs. One track, there are no drums. And one track, I did some programming, so I didn't play anything. So what I wanted to do over the course of the next eight videos is do a short little series called what drum did you use? And I'm going to answer that question for you. Um, we're going to go through each one of these songs that I played on. I'm going to show you the drum I used because I used a couple different drums. And I'll talk about it a little bit, then I'll play the song and you can hear it. And I'll show you the drum right now. So, on the CD Crescendo of Silence, the very first song is Yesterday's. And on Yesterday's, I use this drum right here. This is a six and a half by 14 Ludwig Black Magic. Okay? Uh, what you might notice about this drum is there is no badge on this drum at all, anywhere. No badge, nothing that says it's a Ludwig. Uh, a generic throw, not a Ludwig throw, nothing on here. And the reason why. This was the six and a half inch deep prototype drum that they sent out to Ludwig artists to test. And from what I understand, rumor has it, which uh, actually is my other band, cover band, this was used by Matt Sorum from Guns N' Roses. And I picked this up at the Hollywood Drum Show years and years ago off the Ludwig booth. And it's an amazing, it's an amazing drum. Of course, this is a black nickel over brass. This is a rolled and welded shell. It's not like a black beauty, but it sounds amazing. This one has die cast hoops on it. I replaced the snare ribbon like I always do. I use gross gain ribbon. And this has a dynamic set of wires on it. This is dynamic, okay? This is made by Black Swamp Percussion. I put these on all of my snare drums that are less than eight inches deep, almost all of them. And you'll see as we go through this. This is an amazing drum. I love, love, love this drum. Naturally, it's a one of a kind since it's the prototype. Uh, the air vent, uh, I guess I could tell you, I don't know if you can see that. The air vent is underneath the ribbon behind the uh, throw. <laughs> so anyway, believe it or not, yes, this is a Ludwig drum. Sounds amazing. Um, I use an Evans HD coated head on the top. And this actually still has the original uh, kind of no name head on the bottom. It feels like like maybe a 300 series, maybe what an uh, Evans 300 or the uh, uh, Remo Ambassador bottom head. That's kind of what it feels like. So yeah, that's the drum I used on the first song yesterday's. So like I say, this is a amazing drum. Sounds great. Looks great. throw the song on the video and that'll take us out to the end check back soon we're going to be doing song number two episode two of what drum did you use carry your dreams from west of house crescendo of silence but right now here it is yesterday's roll it
Change will come, there's not a way 